How's it? My name is Dylan and in this video I'm going to show you how to copy all the settings from your Sony camera to another one. So the last couple of months have been super busy. I'm very glad things are kind of getting a bit more back to normal. Nice to be out doing a lot of shoots and yeah, just getting some more time with the camera. It's very cool. So one thing that's happened quite often over the last couple of months is that some of the shoots that I need to do, I need two cameras or I'm borrowing a friend's camera. And then when I take their camera, the way that they've set the camera up is completely different to mine and I almost can't use it. Like the one time I was driving in the car, Kevin, passed me his camera and asked me to take a photo and I couldn't. I was pressing the buttons, he had back button focus, I had regular focus, I was busy changing the aperture on the back dial and he had it on the front dial. It was almost like I didn't know how to use the camera even though it was exactly the same camera that I've got. So I was thinking it would be super helpful if you could just take all my settings from one camera and copy them onto another one. Then when I need to hire a camera or use a friend's camera I can just copy all my settings from my camera to the other one and everything will be exactly the same. So it's actually very easy and this is how to do it. So once you've got your camera set up, you're gonna go to the Sony's menu, go down to the toolbox, take the second option and click save load settings, then click save, save new, and you can give this a name. You can call this whatever you want, something that tells you what these settings are. After you've given a name, click OK, and then click Save. So then you'd put the card into the other camera and go to the same setting, but this time, instead of clicking Save, you'll click Load. And then browse to where the file is on the memory card and click OK. Now the camera is set up in exactly the same way. Cool, a couple of tips. This only seems to work with the same model camera, so I'm doing it from the Sony a7S 3 to another a7S 3 I can't take the settings from an a7S 3 and copy it to my a7 III because it's a different camera and it doesn't even have some of the options, different menu. Okay, so now that you've got your settings in the card, you copy over your footage and you format it and now the settings are gone. A tip for that is to take an old card that you maybe have lying around, a slow card, one that doesn't work with your camera anymore, and save the settings onto that card because then you can just keep that card with you and kind of see it as your like settings card which you put into different cameras to copy your settings over. Another tip is to save the other person's settings on your card as well so that when you put yours on and you give it back to them, you're able to put their settings back on the camera too. Another thing I found quite helpful was I would set up one whole camera setting as a 1080p option and one whole one as a 4K option. So how I've got my camera set up is I've got the custom dials, the C1, C2, C3. Is it called that? No, that's Canon. My custom dials, the 1, 2, and 3, I've got them set up as 4K24, 4K60, and 4K120. So I'll save that as the 4K camera setting. Then I'll create another one, which I'll do the HD version of the camera, and I'll do a 1080, 24, a 1080, 60, and 1080, 120. For some of my events that I shoot, I don't want to shoot it in 4K, then I'll just install the 1080 setting, and then my camera is all configured for everything 1080p, and if I need to shoot 4K, I install the 4K setting, and then everything is ready to go 4K. Um, anything else? No. I think that's it. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and welcome to my new office. It is very empty, but we'll be working on it in the next couple of months. Thanks for watching. I'll check you guys in the next video.